Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today is the next video in our series on calculating the price of a bond. We're going to be finding the present value or price of a bond such as this one here. Uh, this will be our example and we've used the same example throughout that way we know uh, with each of these videos that we're getting the, the appropriate or the same answer. So this is the bond we're going to find out the price of and we're going to use in this case google sheets we found the price of this bond prior to this video using the h or it's using the uh, texas instruments ba2 plus calculator and uh, we also found it using excel uh, and i wanted to also show some of you how to do it with google sheets because not everybody has access to microsoft excel and google sheets of course is a free product from google so if you haven't seen the video where we calculated the price of the bond using the ba2 plus calculator i have linked it up here for you but today we're going to find it with using google sheets uh, before we get to that, I want to say that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. All right, on to the video. All right, I have now uh, pulled up Google Sheets on my computer so you can see it. And I have pre-filled in some of the information from the bond. You will need to put in the uh, information in a similar manner. Uh, to do the calculation. It doesn't have to necessarily be in this order. The point being is that when you start filling it out and you'll see it's going to be using references to cells, uh, cell references as opposed to the actual numbers. So the actual numbers are here and uh, we're going to then reference those cells to pull them into the formula. So we have a 20-year bond and the way the formula works, it's going to require us to have a couple dates. That is the date the bond is bought and the date the bond matures. And that would be 20 years after the date it's bought in this case or for this example. Now you might be given dates in your problem or if not, if it just tells you it's a 20 year bond, go ahead and make up some dates as I have here. I've got May 1st, 2023, and then it'll mature. 20, uh, 20 years later in on May 1st, 2043. So just keep that in mind um, and pick some dates if it, they aren't given to you. The par value of this bond is $1,000. That's the face value. That's the amount that will be paid to the investor on maturity date. The coupon rate is the face value uh, coupon that'll be paid at 5%. And in this case, it's a frequency of two because it is semi-annual payments. So half of the payment will be one on one date and then six months later, you'll get the second payment. So the payment is divided up into two over the, over the um, year. The yield to maturity in this case is 7.5%. That is the expected or market interest rate that the whoever's buying the bond is seeking. And it's often not the same as the coupon rate, and that's going to adjust the price of the bond accordingly. Years to maturity, we already know this is 20 years. Now we've got, um, I put $100 here because the way the formula works, and this is very similar to how it works in Excel, is it's based upon $100, each $100 of value in the bond. So we're going to do it for $100, and the result we get, we're going to multiply by 10 because there's 10 $100 in the $1,000 par value. So we just have to keep that in mind at the end. So we're going to be using the $100 and then we'll, we'll take that on up to the $1,000 par value. So let's get started. We, we don't see the formula up here, but we're going to locate it by hitting these three dots and find the sigma symbol here for the functions click on that and we're going to select the financial so you select financial and once you go to financial we're going to look for price and price is here i'm going to click on price and this is going to be putting the price. now 
If you notice, it'll tell you down below what each item we're looking for. The settlement is the purchased date, and that's this date here. So I click on that, and then I like to just put the comma, and then it gives me the next one is the maturity date. So I click on that cell, and it puts in the cell reference. I click on the comma again, and it's looking for the rate. That's the coupon rate. I click on that, and I hit the comma again, and it looks for the yield. Yield of maturity is 7.5. I click on that. It gives the cell reference there. And the next thing we need to know is the redemption. The redemption we know is going to be $1,000, but remember, we're doing it only per 100 So I select the $100 one hit the comma again and the frequency is two because there's two payments a year that finishes off everything that needs to go into the formula i hit the enter button and that gives me a calculation of 74.311 and remember that's for every hundred dollars and we have a thousand dollar face value so i'm going to need to take and multiply that out. So I'm, I'm going to put a little formula underneath equals, and I reference this cell, and I'm going to multiply it by 10 and hit equal, and that gives me the 743. Let's, let's go ahead and format that as dollars, and that gives us $743.11 which is the same price we got using the financial calculator. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, smash the like button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get more helpful tools such as this. Until next time, keep your grade alive and subscribe. Thank you.